Uh, welcome for flight uh, 6C5375 to Chennai. Chennai is one of the biggest cultural and economic centers in India. Earlier known as Madras, famous for its Hindu temples, churches and museums. Hi guys, welcome to my channel. We are going to the Marina Beach. Amazing. Marina Beach is full of activities in the morning. There are fishing activities going on. Pop it. Oh man, this beach is 13 kilometers, you know. It's 13 kilometers long, that's why. Asia's second largest beach. Why are there so many tattoo shops around? Because on Professional. Professional. Most of Chennai's tourist attractions are located near Marina Beach and can be visited in a single day. The best time to visit Chennai is considered between October and February. Why is Chennai so famous? Famous bro, because Chennai is famous. Parthasarthi Temple. The structure is an architectural wonder that dates back to the 6th century when it was built by the Pallavas. This place definitely should be a part of the itinerary. The temple houses five forms of Vishnu. One gets fascinated by the grandeur of the shrine built in the Dravidian style of architecture. The name Patisati in Tamil means charioteer of Arjuna in the epic Mahabharata. Built in the year 1913, the Ripon building is the official seat of the Chennai Corporation and is painted white as a representation of Indo-Saracenic architecture. Look at these poles, they are magnificent. The royal building is rectangular in shape with a 43 meter tower that has a 2.5 meter clock known as Westminster Chiming Clock. It is a well protected building. Guys, we have the Chennai Lighthouse and it's really massive. The lighthouse is one of the main attractions of Chennai. The top view of the lighthouse is just fantastic. You need to go through a lift to the ninth floor. Wow. The Chennai Lighthouse is a famous landmark on Marina Beach. Big city. Yeah. Where are you from? I'm from Bombay. Bombay is not a big city. Big city. But, but this... you don't have such a big beach. Yeah, this is Asia's second longest beach. Yeah. <laughs> The marina beach view from that high is mesmerizing. The cool breeze coming from the sea will calm your mind. St. Tom actually assumes its name from St. Thomas. With pristine white neo-gothic architecture, the church looks splendid in the daylight where the blue of the sky beautifully complements with the white church. The interior design is something that completely mesmerizes one. St. Thomas was one of the 12 apostles of Jesus who came to India in 52 AD. The calm and serene setting inside is just what you need when you're looking for a quiet place to pray. We are at the Kapalishwara temple in Chennai.
one of the most massive temples in Chennai. Really big as you can see. Kapalishwara is an ancient Lord Shiva temple in the city known for its architecture from 7th century. The temple is a true testimonial to the great Dravidian architecture. Guys, thank you for watching my travel vlog and stay tuned for the next travel videos.